Hello, my name is Doug Tanapel. I'm the creator of Earthworm Jim, The Neverhood, Nickelodeon's Cat Scratch. And this is uh, my newest creation called Burkle and Spay. We re-edited these together into three short chunks. And it's made by, I created the characters, created the show, wrote the scripts. Uh, Nurkish wrote some of the scripts also. And he does the voice of Burkle. I do the voice of Spay. And our friend Sven Stoffels did the animation. Welcome to Burkle and Spay. <laughs> I can feel you looking at me. Hey, it's my apartment too. I can stand anywhere I want. True, but you can't sit there and just stare at me. Well, I pay rent. You're paying to occupy that room, not be creepy. You be nice. Stop staring at me. I'm not staring, don't flatter yourself. I'm going to turn and look at you and you're going to be wrong. Putting my phone down. Not staring. I'm going to turn and look at you. Still not, way not, never not staring left. Oh, sure. You turn your head just as I was turning to look at you. Wrongeth. Your voice projection is even different because you're talking away from me right now. Dogs have terrible echolocation. Psycho. Please stop staring at me. Burkle, 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 wake up. But I don't want to get neutered. <clears throat> what? Wake up. I can't sleep. Well, that makes two of us. No, I can't sleep because I saw a monster. I'm really not in the mood for this. Oh, it was horrible. Please, please stop doing this. It looked like a giant hairless rat wearing this discarded skin of a rotisserie chicken. No, no, it didn't. Yes, it did. And it had these tiny beady eyes with with shriveled bird-like appendages like like Madonna. I need sleep. I have a prostate exam in the morning. And the smell. Oh, the smell. It was like you filled an old gym sock with Manny. No, scratch that. It was like a French guy. And where did you see this monster exactly? Under my bed. It was you. I know. We need a pet. We are pets. But we're so generic. We're a dog and a cat. We're as boring as your head. I think my head is pretty unique and interesting. You'll be happy to know that after a few weeks of researching pets, I have made a decision. Lots of my friends said my head is pretty cool looking. Female friends. We are buying a monkey. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. It sounded like you said you wanted to move out. Come on, dog. They wear diapers and stuff. You can teach them how to smoke. And if bad guys ever break in, a monkey can pull their arms off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're illegal. Okay, then we then we get a little one. Legal that does not make it. Itty bitty, tiny little monkey. You are a nightmare. Wait a minute. People have dwarfism. What if we got a dwarf monkey? We call him Gimli. You know, like Game of Thrones. Uh, you can get a fish. Okay, forget the dwarf monkey. That was a stupid idea. Really insensitive, I'm sorry. Wait, what about just a plain old human dwarf? Special delivery. Okay, let me know what you guys think. I'll be showing you a few scripts and stuff coming up. Mostly I just wanted to let you know that you know, I came up with this because I had I had these roommates and it was really funny. And all of our kind of discussions and arguments were about how we teased each other when we lived with each other. So that's the core of where Burkle and Spay came from. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. Welcome to Burkle and Spay. You used to love barbecue sauce on your fish. Stop dead saucing me.